Hello guys and welcome back. This is part two of tips and tricks for Sterling Uni and I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we enjoyed filming it. So let's descend into the madness again. Take the University of Stirling Confessions on Instagram yep. with a big pinch of salt. Yeah, some of them may be true, but a lot of them are bullshit. Most of the ones calling the sports guys fuckboys, that's true. <laughs> but that's true if any uni, so you didn't really need to know that. But the most ones of them that are, are like, you think, really, did this happen? They probably didn't. Yeah, they probably didn't. Did they? No. no. Tina says, don't listen to that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this beautiful thing leads us on to another point about Borrow My Doggy, which you can do in Sterling. Yes, I joined Borrow My Doggy. It's amazing. If you can't have your own dog, it lets you borrow one for a day. So you can mm -hmm. take it for walks, you can have it hanging out. Just make sure that your apartment or place is allowed to have pet visits and you'll be alright. So, mm -hmm. But get it, especially for a dog person like me who can't have one around. Mm -hmm. Now I do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come in. Um, enjoy the lake and the sterling surroundings. Yes. We have a humongous big lock. I called it a lake. Oh god, oh, I'm not no. even Scottish. Oh no. Oh no. Enjoy the lock, enjoy the castle, enjoy the Wallace Monument, enjoy everything that you can. Uh, I didn't know that apparently if you live in the sterling area, you there get is... in the castle for free, guys. Get in the castle for free. Just bring a utility bill. You get in for free. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm going to pop it down. You can't be in the video. You can't talk. You have nothing to add <laughs> and you don't even go to university. Plan accordingly around exams. Ask this one about that. <laughs> <laughs> now the one that wrote it. <laughs> Told you I'm chatting. I want you all to learn from my mistakes. From mistakes. So when I mean that, I just mean that actually study. It's oh, I think a lot of it was about going home as well. I was like, just plan accordingly around that. Don't get caught up. Because I fucked up in first year and did it and started a job two days before my first exam. <laughs> my only exam that I nearly slept in for, that I had you. She called me crying and I was already outside the exam hall and I was like, just get here, man. And she was like, I can't. And I was like, you live a 10 minute walk away. Get here! And she turned up and she was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then you took the exam and you were like, actually, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, but did you not see me before the exam? Yeah, you were like, I'm sorry, I never got to you. And I was like, I can't do anything, I'm going into this exam. And I went to you, can you even have my morning cigarette? That was because I went to bed at 6am and I spent the whole night, but I was meant to be studying with Chloe. Look at houses that we were going to live in and wedding venues. For her. Yikes! Anyway, moving on! <laughs> job wise, job wise, the uni hires in a lot of places. Yep, yep, it does. It I does. used to work at the Starbucks up at the uni. I cool. interviewed for Nisa. Yeah, I mean, I would say if you need slightly more hours though, go mm. outside the uni. Yeah. If you need guaranteed more hours. If you're going to steal for summer as well, move outside of the I honestly thought you said if you were going to steal. I know, it's like, <laughs> why are you saying this on camera? <laughs> yeah, if you're staying over summer, obviously, get a more stable job outside of the uni. Yeah, the Thistles is always looking for student staff because a lot of, like me, um, because of well, the store I work in, basically, has a fast turnover. That's my glasses, Tina. Um, has a fast turnaround, obviously, because people are transferring and transferring back. Get down! Get down! You Get can't down. be the centre of attention all the time. No, no, she's going to be like, when I pull in Laura's glasses, I can be really smart. <laughs> <laughs> I can be so smart. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Professor Tina. Come on. This is what our life is now. Oh, I this is student yeah. night. The student night, yes. So on um, on Thursday nights, the Thistles is open till 8pm all year round, not just at Christmas and not just during term time. Take it from someone who works it. Um, it's our late night shopping, so basically go in, all the stores are open till 8. Um, and yeah, it's a student night as well when term time's on. Yeah. It, the student night will be the first, will be Thursday the 9th. Are you sure? It's, I'm sure it's usually a little bit later. 
Because oh. the uni students don't start until the week after. So no, we no. start the ninth. No, uni yeah, goes but, back. No, yeah, but we have freshers week, and then they don't usually have the thingy until a week after freshers week. Oh, I thought so. I've booked the wrong night off work. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, Tina, make the most of Bridge of Allen. Yes, I love Bridge of Allen. It's a beautiful place. Um, it's lovely to walk around. But it's not <laughs> lovely to walk around. I mean, you mind. I'm not lying. <laughs> So. It's beautiful though, and it's got yeah. so many nice local pubs and yeah. restaurants and just in general, like little shops yeah. and stuff. There is so much history in Stirling. There is, there's a lot. A there's ridiculous a lot. amount. Like, yeah. well, it turns out we're basically based on the site of where the old leper hospital is. Yeah. So, what a wonderful place to live. <laughs> the gym! Use it! Use it. It's getting redone just now, but we have an Olympic size swimming pool, so. Do we? <laughs> That's where the, um, in the last Olympics, the ones in 2016, I think, were the last Olympics. Yes, they yes. were. So, in those Olympics, the British swimmers that got silver, they trained in our swimming pool. Mm. Oh, yeah. And also, if you go to the tennis courts, you're most likely to bump into Andy Murray or Jamie Murray, so. Yeah. Yeah. They sometimes still pop a boot. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I would say as well, because the gym membership is only £99 for the semester. Yeah. Which works out to be like less than a, like a tenner a month, which is really good for mm -hmm. on. But I do think that the gym should be like included. No, a fiber. Open longer. Because yeah. it, it closes quite early at night, if you ask me. For I students. think it should be 24 hours. I think it should be 24 hours. Let's petition that. <laughs> I've never but stepped if foot inside do, that gym. If you do want a 24 hour gym, um, there, are local there is Pure Gym, which is. Good girl. Mm -hmm. There is Pure Gym, which um, I think is only about. When I did it, it was about £15 yeah. a month. So there's that as well. Get to know your campus, especially Cotterill. That is a bitch, and now that the, the, the bridge is, um, you can't go over the bridge just now because of it. Uh... Disasters don't just happen, they're a chain of critical events. Unravel the clues and count Building down those really final seconds from disaster. Ooh. Tina. Tina! Tina, what are you doing? Hey, you can't go over the bridge at the moment. It's not, it's not, Come on. you're not able to get over it. I don't know if that'll be back in the, the inside bridge. The inside bridge. I don't know if that'll be working again by the time you know you start uni. I'm hoping it is. I hope so because it used to be the only way you could get from like what what, what the atrium mm -hmm. to Cottrell and stuff mm -hmm. from the inside. So I really hope that they're not bashing it down. Yeah. But um, yeah, Cottrell's a bitch. Mm -hmm. There's like a running joke. <laughs> in quite a lot of years yeah but if you get lost in cultural you're going to come across an amazonian tribe that hasn't seen people for like a certain yeah. amount of years because it literally is a maze yeah but it's also the same with the amount of shooters that go missing and can't <laughs> actually find their own class yeah and they run into students and go are you in this class and you're like yes let's go find it together and then you just see this tutor with like six other students trying to find a room that was theirs and also rooms get booked over each oh. other so and it's just a culture was my least favorite part of the uni yes the higher you get as well in cultural that's the more confusing but it it's becomes. also the main hub for most of people's classes yeah. and most of people's lectures. Unless you're like an art student. And you're a path fit mainly. Yeah. Right. Uh, speak to your personal tutor if you have issues. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend doing that because I didn't even know who my personal tutor was until yeah. second year and I could have got a lot more help a lot more quickly. Um, I had issues in, what was PR this year? Yes, oh it was. God, it, it, was, was, it was. was autumn semester. So, so this, I had some yeah. issues with when when I was starting to get ill, and my personal tutor was able to talk to me and get me an extension approved and stuff. Don't abuse your personal tutor for these things, only if you need them. <laughs> but do talk to them if you need yeah. any help because they they that's what they're there for. Yeah, like 
I don't think my personal tutor is even anything to do with my I've, like not a teacher or yeah. anything. It's just a tut tut it is just someone at the uni who's yeah. like assigned to be your personal tutor. But meet up with them if you have any issues. Oh she could see what's going on down here. She wants attention. She's pissed that Mummy and Auntie Law they're filming! This is one for you. Commuting. Oh, is this what I'm talking yeah. about? Oh yeah, sorry, I thought you were from me and I was like, I don't come commute in the same place as no. your fucking commute. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So, if you are commuting from anywhere, outside of Stirling, <laughs> yes. basically, um, and you need to get a train or anything like that, um, I know that there are no direct buses from Glasgow to Stirling. It's a bitch, I understand that it's fucking annoying. But, speak to your personal tutors because or actually any tutors that you have yes, that speak semester, to the teachers because you you'll be surprised at how understanding they are about it so basically if you're gonna run in late they're gonna know they won't mark you absent if you say by the way this train's meant to get in at half nine if i'm not here and they'll be like all oh, right okay well we understand that that person's obviously on their way and if you turn up they're like oh obviously their train was late yeah um, just a big shout out to Trees if you get to uh, yes. third year film. Just yes. to say that Trees is the most amazing. Yeah, and especially, <laughs> especially if you commute, Therese understands the pain. Therese has been my favourite teacher. She might, she, she probably doesn't even care about who we no. are, but she's they given me more support. When, when, because I had my, my dog passing, she was so understanding. Oh my god, she Just was. As long she? as you talk to people. But yeah, if you get a teacher like Therese, then you're gonna be alright. The amount of times I got the train with Therese. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh. I just see her in every bank. I am into your uploads now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. So I hope we covered. Is there anything else we um, have? Oh, covered? yes. One oh. thing the uni has a safe taxi scheme. So if you go out in town and you get too drunk, you can't afford to pay for your taxi, uh, there is a safe taxi scheme and what they do is they charge it to the university, you give them your uh, student number and you pay for it after it gets charged to the uni. But don't abuse that because you no. still have to end up paying it, but yeah. it's just good if you're ever in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Not that kind of thing. It, you have to at least once in your uni career at least stand outside of food bar dusk. You don't need to go in, but it's a rite of passage. I actually, I managed to get away with doing it before I even got to uni. So therefore- I haven't done either of those yet. No, but just stand outside. You've stood outside them both, technically. For reasons we will not go into. Okay. Christ. Anyway, my biggest thing would be get a dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But well, only if you can look after it. Or get a hamster. Um, they can't check every fucking room, guys. <laughs> um, what else? what else? Don't cook an egg in the microwave and set the fucking alarm off for the whole building. Sorry, I still don't know this story. I don't know this story, so I don't know what she's talking about. Well, it made me mad because we had to evacuate. And it turned out it was because someone was cooking an egg in the microwave. Oh, and do you know what you guys are all so lucky for? Oh, if you live in, yeah. Oh, no, it's on any student campus except the cabins. No, 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 you guys are so, so lucky. You get told in advance and it's on your front door when you're going to have a fire drill. We didn't yeah, get we that. Never, we never got it. All we had was he just woke up in the morning and this was at the end of Freshers Week to beep, Hello. beep. Stop. There is a fire. Please evacuate. And I'm like, who the fuck? It was fuck? like seven o'clock in the morning. I'd just fallen asleep. I think, what? There were people that were still drunk in the shower. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Chaos. Then he was still in the shower as well. Chaos. And she'd sharpie all over her head. That was a funny story. It was a very, very amusing time, but not amusing now. <sighs> <sighs> Miss Tina just goes where she likes. <laughs> yeah. So, Sterling is a good uni. Yes. It's, I, I agree. Go to Sterling. So guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, Sterling Uni is a beautiful campus. <laughs> Sterling Uni is a wonderful place. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sterling 
in uni is a wonderful place and we hope these tips and tricks make it slightly easier for you. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it is truly one. It's number one in some areas. For a sex list, that's what we're <laughs>